<laughs> and the kids. Yep. Good, good, to, good to have you watching. All right, I think we might move on completely, shall we? Yeah, but on to something totally different <laughs> yeah. at 11 minutes past 8 o'clock. Well, after yet another shooting in Adelaide at the weekend, there's been a call for a total gun ban in South Australia. Tired of dealing with these cases on a regular basis, the state's director of public prosecutions says enough is enough. Well, Stephen Polaris wants all guns to be made illegal. Now, obviously, the sporting shooters won't like that idea, but the National Coalition for Gun Control does. Samantha Lee from the Coalition is here. Good morning to you. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, back in 96, of course, we had the big national gun uh, buyback scheme. Just remind us of what that achieved. Yes, yeah, so after the Port Arthur massacre and back in 1996, the Howard government and the states and territories banned all semi-automatic long arms. But they did not extend that ban to semi-automatic handguns. Now, we've seen some great benefits from the ban of long arms. We've seen a reduction in firearm deaths in Australia and hospitalisations and suicides. So I'd like to see that ban extended to semi-automatic handguns. OK, but the DPP in South Australia says total ban. Now, for all of us who don't own a gun and we see horrific pictures in the United States and um, terrible gun stories here in Australia, just how feasible is it though for a total ban? Well, what we would like to see is a total ban of semi-automatic weapons. OK, and so that not is... every gun. Well, at this stage, we'd like to take it by stages. And uh, if we get rid of the most powerful weapons, which are the semi-automatics, we'd be very happy with that. And what... Are, what are... Sorry, what are the semi-automatics? Everyone talks about oh. semi-automatics. I have no idea. Yes, well, semi-automatics means that it just self-loads very quickly. So you put a magazine chamber into the firearm and then you press the trigger once and it propels a number of bullets in a number of minutes. Like you see in the movies. That's sort of, right, right, yes. Okay. And when you think of Port Arthur, the massacre, Martin Bryant had two semi-automatic rifles and in a, just a few minutes he killed 35 people and injured 19 others. OK, so as opposed to a gun that does one bullet at a time. That's right. right. Now, sporting shooters were argued that they need semi-automatic firearms to do their sport. Now, that's not true. After the Dumb Blame massacre in Scotland, where a person used a semi-automatic handgun to kill some school children, the, what the uh, country did over there is ban all handguns. Uh, what we would like to see is ban all semi-automatic handguns and what that means is that sporting shooters can have single shot firearms mm. to do their sport. Because uh, in the Commonwealth Games and the Olympics when you see Michael Diamond, you know, doing yes. his shooting, they're not semi-automatics are they? He, no, well they don't need... A bullet in each time. Well, they don't need semi-automatic firearms for Olympic or Commonwealth game shooting. Now, when you think about sporting shooting, it's about hitting a target. It's not about how powerful you hit the target. So it's about your precision in hitting the target. A lot of guns that are used, uh, you know, in criminal activity are, are, are illegal, illegally obtained. Mm. Is there any way to stop them, first of all, coming across the border from other states, but also then to ban them in the country outright? Is that sort of... Yes. Can that be done? We don't really have an international problem in terms of smuggling in Australia. Mm -hmm. um, border control, obviously, if there's going to be a ban on semi-automatic handguns, it needs to be a national approach, which happened back in 1996. Now, it, in terms of firearms moving into the illegal market, if you reduce the number of firearms in the legal market, it's like stopping a leaking tap into the illegal market. So if you reduce the number of firearms in the, in the legal market, you'll stop them flowing into the criminal market. What about uh, farmers, people in the bush? Because they, they actually do need them, don't they, for, uh, for running their farms? Well, fi uh, firearms, certain firearms are legal and in rural areas you can have a rifle. What we're asking for is a ban of semi-automatic handguns. Handguns are an urban problem, mainly used by urban dwellers, and so there's no need to have them in the city. They're particularly dangerous because they're so easy to conceal, and if you can walk around a city area mm. with the semi-automatic handguns, it's a very big concern. Yep. Obviously, the election is fast approaching. Would you like to see this back on the political agenda? We certainly would. Uh, we know that Kevin Rudd is the patron of the Pistol Amateur Queensland Sporting Club, also of the Clay Target Shooting Club. We've been asking for Kevin Rudd's position on firearms since uh, this year. Uh, we still haven't heard what his position is. Okay. We hope if he gets in, he does support safety. We'll stick Australia. it on the election, yeah. Roswell, for you. Over That's there. where I like questions go. So. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thanks, Samantha. Thank for you very much. In.
Uh, quarter past eight on the way. A hairstyle.